liquid information flowing backwards from deep inside the brain. So that's a two-edged sword. On the one hand, it makes it easier. You don't have to register every little thing that's out there. But on the other hand, it's dangerous. You can see things, quote-unquote see, that aren't really there. So our perception of the world is affected as much by what our brains expect to see as what is actually in front of us. This room looks normal, but in fact, it's massively distorted. The girls are exactly the same size, and yet your brain won't allow you to see them that way. You can't tell that the left side of the room is much bigger than the right side, or that the floor slopes down to the left corner, and that the furniture has been specially designed to fool your brain. All this creates the illusion that the girl is changing size as she walks across the room. Your brain simply will not let you see the room as it actually is. Instead, it uses its store of memories to take a shortcut, creating an image of this room based on how you expect all rooms to look. It's an astonishing example of how much our visual memories, our imaginations, can influence what is right in front of our eyes. <laughs>